This is the under construction video. It is June 21st, 2023 uh, here at the build site at SpaceX at the launch uh, at the launch and build site, but mostly at the build site. Uh, we are looking at the uh, the first uh, Starbase sign ever to be constructed ever anywhere on the Earth. And this is a site from the small village of Boca Chica, Texas. Hey, Glitch. Nice to see you. And um, so you can see here they have some uh, excavators and stuff like that. A lot of dirt around here, some some barriers, etc. And that is uh, they've. I guess they're getting the last sections here in Boca Chica of the the uh, the wire that they've put, been putting down all the way to the launch site. So they've completed the wire all the way, very very far, all the way down to the launch site. And they're very uh, they've done a very quick cleanup job on every section that they've done. They've really made it almost look like they didn't do any digging on all that area down there. So they've been working very hard and, and fast. And this is the kind of the uh, maybe the last major section that they have to do here by the Starbase sign of burying this, uh, installing and burying this wire. Uh, I believe uh, maybe they will continue this. All you know, thinking about it now, I don't know where is the. They probably have some underground boxes, electrical boxes that they're going to connect this wire to uh, as we go to the left here toward Brownsville. I know there are some telephone poles as we start going down this road, but I don't know how far the, um, how far away those, I know up by the Massey's gun range, they have done a little underground work there with the telephone pole stuff. And there may be some green boxes over in this direction to the left. And then uh, if, if those are relatively close, then they can just tie in this, all this wire that they're putting underneath the ground and it'll be a done deal so and they, may, they may be getting near the end of this uh wire construction uh right behind me it is a windy windy night but uh right behind me they did do a large hole in, into the ground um just here across the road this is the uh, U.S. government side. It is probably very windy, but uh, there's a huge hole that they dug into the ground here. I'm not sure what for, but uh, I may get, uh, it looks like they put some boxes and maybe they're redirecting the water from across the road. I don't know, there's some boxes there, but very windy, I know, but they dug a huge hole here. This is the U.S. government owned property, so I'm, I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, but uh, here, uh, right across from the Starbase sign, uh, we, can see quite a bit of construction going on. I will go across the road and just uh, kind of do a little bit of a visual from the side here. I'm gonna block the wind with my back. I'm not going any closer than this, but. Looks like maybe some type of uh, water drainage system or something. Or maybe this is a junk junction box for some of the electrical stuff. But um, yeah. And to the right, uh, I just wanted to get this shot, and it's something fun to do. And also, happy uh, June 21st is the summer solstice. So we are at the, at the very top of the year here in the Northern Hemisphere. And so the days will start getting shorter as we go forward from here into the rest of 2023 in the Northern Hemisphere. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, the days are going to start getting longer, and the nights are going to start getting, in the Southern Hemisphere, the nights are start getting shorter. Up here in the northern hemisphere, the nights are going to start getting longer, more time to sleep. Otherwise, I'll check out the chat here, see what's going on there. What's what's the Cape of Four? I don't know what that means, Nathan. Good good question. Shalom, Helena. Helena. Oh yeah, for an upgrade. Yeah, maybe uh, some, some kind of upgrade. They're uh, doing some. They've been uh, installing all the electrical wire down, uh, all the way from here to the launch site, and that is mostly completed and they've made the road look really nice and they've made it so but this is the next section and um that's it they're just uh there's only so much more of the uh spacex property here and, and then they'll be out of uh places to put some uh, wire this is all going to be um just a little bit down that way this is the end of spacex property so
it looked like they were taking some big spools of wire out of here. Normally, you know, they bring the wire down here to the uh, SpaceX location, but I think I just saw them at the beginning of this video take out about three large spools. I don't know if they're taking it down the road to to do some more work in the next, maybe the next section, uh, but the, there's probably some underground buried green boxes with the electrical and that it may be an easy connection. So maybe they, maybe they don't need that electrical stuff that they possibly purchased. Um, but that's it. Um, wherever you are in the, on a, on the planet here, again, it is a prison planet, but, uh, it's also a beautiful planet uh, where those who don't imprison themselves can also have a lot of fun. So not everybody gets to dictate how things are here on the Earth. Uh, here in 2023, uh, everybody lives in their own reality. But uh, sometimes there is a larger reality that we fit into, like a bucket. And uh, sometimes there are people who like to control the, the rules of the bucket. And uh, there is uh, something called the bucket list. So... If you have a bucket list, it's something good to do. Uh, I have uh, somewhat of a bucket list, and my bucket list includes uh, spending the next uh, 10 to 12 years uh, trying to get humanity uh, to land on one of these ocean moons here in the solar system and get some video imagery from the surface of the liquid ocean and or the water there to inspire humanity. So that's on my bucket list. That's at the very... That's at the very top of my bucket list uh, because, not because I'm greedy and not because uh, I've got a small imagination, but because uh, I've done everything else that I wanted to do. I've jumped out of airplanes. I've, uh, I've had fun in a variety of ways. And this is the ultimate for me, this Space Ocean Corp uh, video camera footage and possibly, most likely, a water collection mission to pay off the investors and... Uh, do my little small part of making life multi-planetary and so whatever it is on your bucket list that inspires you i uh, from this uh, summer solstice june 21st 2023 i believe um it's been a good day for me and uh hopefully it's been great for you Uh, yeah, so that's a good question. Nathan asks, is there a new building getting built? Um, so what we can see here on the other side is, uh, let me pan up, I just noticed this. Right here above the lights, we do have uh, the moon up there. Just hanging out uh, with, I believe, the. I'm not sure what planet that is, uh, but the moon is right there. Look at that. Just hanging out. Okay. All right, uh, so they are building, uh, pre-building some of the walls for the new high bay right over there on the other side of the wall there. And that has been confirmed because um, we saw last uh, week or two ago them wheeling down some of these segments, sections of the wall to the, uh, to the new uh, bay area that they're building just down the road to the right. So, uh, but let me see what else is going on. So that's a temporary building area for some of the walls for the high bay that they're building. But the high bay itself, um, we can see the, the high bay there, and we can see the mega bay to the left. The new one is, uh, I guess, behind that red crane, and it kind of forms a courtyard. We have um, the, uh, the mid bay, we got the high bay, we got the mega bay, and then the, there's another building that they're building over there, and uh, that's where it is, over in that direction. All right, hey Alan, hey Nathan, Nicholas, Park, nice to see you. That's it. There's a lot going on. Uh, it's been a very interesting day. Um, uh, every day is a good day, and today has been another good day. And uh, hopefully, uh, 
whatever it is that you're passionate about, you're getting to spend a little time uh, today to do that. This is one of my passions, taking video, and I like checking out space and also moving forward some of the project uh, that I'm working on here. Interacting with people and helping to make the world a more interesting place. All right, uh, I'm going to go down to the launch site next. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything there for, to film or video, but I know there was some type of a road closure today. I looked a little bit on the NSF, uh, nasaspaceflight.com, and I saw some stuff coming out the bottom of the, uh, from the side underneath Pad B. And so they had the Starship up there, and it looked like they were maybe doing some testing. Uh, before I log off, does anyone know what they did today over at the uh, Pad B with the Starship? Spin Prime test. Oh, that's good. Henry J. Good. I saw you uh, your comments uh, last night after I finished uh, and rewatched the show. Good to see you here, Henry. Thanks. Spin Prime. I guess there was no explosion, was there? <laughs> last uh, a while back, they did a Spin Prime, and there was a um, kind of a what were the two things uh, hyper? Were the two fuels mixed together and then it explodes? I think it's hypergolic is the word thanks Henry yep yeah. Nathan says filled up the tank tank uh, deep down good stuff good stuff all right well I'll see you uh, maybe another time, and um, I'm going to head down to the launch site now, and uh, good evening to you, good day, whenever you're, how, you know, whatever time of day it is for you, and thanks for st stopping by. Good to chat, and um, uh, we'll see where life goes, but uh, I'm doing my best to keep it moving forward in, a, in an interesting direction. Yep, take care. See you soon, maybe. Thank you. Bye.